I'm Kirk Anderson, and welcome back to the shop. This week's project is a birdhouse. Now, a birdhouse can be as simple as putting six pieces of wood together, or you can over-engineer it, as I did, and make it a little complicated. But with that, you can take some of the elements I put into this birdhouse and take them out, and there again, it's a simple birdhouse. One of the first things you need to consider when you're making a birdhouse is who are you making the birdhouse for? That will determine on how big you need to make it and how big the hole is that you need to drill in it. Now, if you'd like to make this birdhouse, I'll have a list below of the materials and equipment I use to build it. Now, let's get into this build and also give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Now let's make a new place with some birdies to live. Now I'm making this birdhouse out of cedar. And I started out by just jointing one face of the boards. Once the boards were jointed, I brought them over to the planer to make the other face parallel. Now the design I have for this birdhouse, the boards I had were a little bit too narrow. So to solve that, I'm gluing a narrow piece on each side. Now you can skip this step if you start out with a board that's the width that you want. As with any glue up like this, you want to make sure that you have plenty of glue on it and then clamp it nice and tight and let it sit at least 12 hours. After the boards had set, I did scrape the majority of the glue off and then I sanded it down so they're nice and smooth. Now my design of this birdhouse has a bevel cut on the bottom parts of the front and the back pieces. And I'm going to cut those pieces on my Incra 5000. First thing to do is loosen the bracket on the end of the fence. Now, if you're not familiar with the Incra 5000, it is a wonderful piece of equipment. You can dial this in to a half a degree. My design for the birdhouse calls for a seven degree angle. Loosen the main knob on the Incra 5000, and then on the coarse angle setting, I set it to five degrees. And then on the fine setter, I set it to two degrees for a total of seven degrees. And then once the angle is set, tighten back up the bracket on the end of the fence. I had previously determined where to set the stop block, which was at 7 and 7 eighths of an inch. Now just clamp the board in and make the cut. And then flip it over and make the cut on the other side. And then I set up the Incra 5000 for a similar operation to cut the roof angles, which the roof angles were 34 and a half degrees. And on cutting the roof angles, I did have a spacer in there that was at seven degrees that so the board would sit flush up against the fence and the stop block. And one piece of the birdhouse is cut out. Now, of course, two pieces were cut like this, one for the front, one for the back. And the one for the front is brought over to the drill press to drill the access hole for the birdies. Then putting the birdhouse together, I am using screws, but I am going to counter them in a deep pocket and then plug the hole. So I made that hole with a Forstner bit and then came back with a regular bit to go all the way through. Now it's time to cut the sides. Since the fronts and the backs are angled at 7 degrees, the bottom of the sides also need to be angled at 7 degrees. So I used a digital angle gauge to get that angle on the table saw. And then I made the cut. And since this is an outdoor project, I am using Type Bond 3 for the glue. And I'm actually using pocket hole screws to secure it. 
Then once all the screws are driven in, then I plug the holes with some plugs that I made. And then once the glue dried on the plugs, I just cut them flush with a flush trimming saw. Now I just recently got this saw. It's a Japanese style flush trimming saw. And I tell you what, I really do like it. Using the bevel cutting jig from last week's episode, I was able to cut the angles that I needed for the roof pieces. Now in any birdhouse, it's important to have ventilation. And I designed this so there would be a gap between the roof and the side piece to provide that ventilation. Now you don't have to do this. You can just drill a hole in the side to provide the ventilation. And the same thing with the bottom. You need drainage. And there it is, a completely over-engineered birdhouse. If you take away some of my design elements, such as the angled sides and the slits for drainage and ventilation, this would be a very simple birdhouse. But I decided to over-engineer it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.